Well, that's a, uh, a good bull, probably about maybe 320, but we know there's a real big bull in here, so we're gonna pass on him, obviously, and uh, keep working our way up this canyon. My dad and brother have seen a really, really big bull with some palmation and real heavy and some crazy stuff going on, so we're gonna pass. A few short days ago, my brother Ike and my dad Mike were mule deer hunting in this area and caught a glimpse of a monster bull elk while glassing for deer. Mike had my attention when he described the bull as one of the largest he's ever seen in over 60 years of elk hunting. That's just part of trophy hunting. If you want to kill a really big buck or a bull, you have to pass on bulls like that or good bucks to find the really big ones. We're just going to kind of move our way up this drainage. We've got a little bit of rain coming in change of weather and hopefully it pops some of those cows into heat and uh, gives us a chance at that big bull. So we're going to pass on this one and just keep working our way up. Just as we predicted in the MRS section of the magazine, the moisture levels in southern Colorado and New Mexico have bumped up the antler growth to near historic highs. The fall rains keep coming in and out, and the stalking conditions couldn't be any better. We've got a bull over here, quite a ways across this drainage. I don't know if he's the bull we're looking for or not yet, but he's got a really long main beam, and it looks like he's really tall, got long points. And uh, put the spot and scope up. It's a little too far for me to tell, getting a little too dark, but it looks like he's got a big frame and long beams. So we're gonna ease over there closer and get a look and see if that's, that's the guy we're looking for. I'm really hoping that this is the bull we've, uh, we've been after for three or four days here. We quickly close the distance on the rutting bull and our suspicions appear to be correct. This is the bull we've been looking so hard for. He's 250 yards. He's got about four cows. He's rutting around, he's rutting real heavy. I think he went off to the left. I think he took a cow in there in the timber to breed her. So I'm hoping. I think if we can get up here and get set up and wait for him, he'll come back out. I can shoot him. We're within range. This, this hill doesn't have enough rise to it, so I'm, I might have to relocate and get a better rest. He has a straight eye guard. And his third is wavy. That's the bull. That's the bull. He's the bull. He's the bull we're looking for. As soon as he's clear, I'm going to take him. I'm going to wait for him to turn clear. OK, he's stepping away. It's getting clear, I'm gonna shoot him. I'm on him, I'm still on him, hit him again. Hit him again. Got him again. He's down, he's down, he's down. He's down. What a bull, oh my gosh. What a smoker, non-typical, bladed, He's got everything. What a bull. Look at that bull. Holy smokes. Folks, this may be the last episode of Eastman's you ever see because after this, I just may retire from elk hunting. Look at this bull. 
Oh! Oh my God, this bull is a giant and a non-typical. Uh, this is a bull of a lifetime. I, I will never kill a bull this big. I, I think he is, I don't even know. I, I, trashy, this bull has got to be 390. 390, he's a six by eight. But this eight point side is just, uh, look at the palmation. The bull of my lifetime in the books. I've been fortunate enough to take some great bulls over the years, but none as large as this specimen. This could be one of the crown jewels of my hunting career. Well, folks, here's the big bull from last night. This bull is just a giant. He's just one of the biggest bulls I've ever seen, let alone shot. I mean, he's just incredible. We had a great time. We hope you enjoyed the show. Remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. I'm Guy Eastman. We'll see you next week right here on Eastman's Hunting TV.